in C Sharp, the Sorted List Collection stores key value pairs in the ascending order of the key. So, let us go to our main method inside the program.cs class and create our first sorted list collection. To create this collection, write sorted list, then provide the names of SL1 is equal to new sorted list, and here we have created the collection. If you right click on the collection and then go to the definition, we will see that the sorted list inherits from the i dictionary and i collection, which means that the elements can be accessed both by key and by index. Now, let us add some items to our sorted list. So, I'll just write in here sl1.add. So, by using the add method, we need to define a key. So, let us say 3. And then here, define a value number 3. Let us do the same for more items. Now, if you want to see the result, we can either use a for each loop or a for loop. Let us use the for loop, so for that we write for i is equal to 0, and then i less than sl1.count, and then i++. plus plus. Here write console.writeline, then dollar sign, inside double quotes write key, and then inside here write sl1.getKey, and then provide as an index the i, then comma, value, the value is going to be sl1 dot get by index and then as an index let us use the i. So we said that when we add elements to a sorted list, the elements are sorted by default using the index in an ascending order. So in here we define the 3 to be as our first index, the 4, the 1. Now let us press Ctrl F5 to see the result. In the sorted list, in line 11, we added 3 as our first index, and then we added 4 as our second index. But we see in the result that the first index is going to be the index 1, and then 2, and then 3, because we said that the sorted list stores the values in an ascending order of the key. So this is why it starts from the key 1, 2, 3, etc. So in a sorted list, Except integers, we can use the double values to be keys as well. So, for example, let us replace these integers with double. So, dot one, for example. Press Ctrl F5 to see the result. And in here we see that the keys are sorted in an ascending way. We can even use strings. So, for example, if I write in here, double quotes in here, close the double quotes, press Ctrl F5, we are still going to see that the keys are sorted in an ascending way. Now, let us change the value of the 1.1 from a string to an integer. And press Ctrl F5 to see the result. And we see in here that we get an exception. And that's right, because in a sorted list, the keys can be of any data type. So for example, they can be all integers, or they can be all double, or all strings, but you cannot add keys of different data types in the same sorted list. So, you cannot define a string in here and then define an integer or a double. You need to define them all strings or all integers. Or null. So, if you write null in here, you will get the same problem. So, Ctrl F5. Here we have another exception which says that the key cannot be null, etc. So, let us change this back to 1.1 and put a breaking point in line 17. And then run the application by pressing the F5 key. So we reached the breaking point and we see that the SL1 has 5 items. And it's important to know that internally, the sorted list maintains two object arrays. One for keys and another for values. So when you add a key value pair, it runs a binary search using the key to find an appropriate index to store a key and value in respective arrays. It also rearranges the elements when you remove the elements from it. What if you want to get a specific value out of a sorted list? For that you can write in here string value is equal to sl1 which is going to be the name of the sorted list 
and then you need to define the key. So let's say we want to get this value, the key 4.1, paste it here. Next, you need to convert this value to the appropriate data type because by default, it has the object data type. So you write, for example, a string. I want to get a string value and that's all. Let us see the results. So console.write line, then in here value is equal to value. Control F5 and here we have the result. We said that we can use the for each statement in C sharp to access the sorted list collection. And a sorted list element includes both the key and the value. So the type of the element would be a dictionary entry rather than the type of the key or the value. So let us write in here for each, then define the type of the variable to be dictionary entry. Just write in here element in SL1 and then to display the results we are going to use console dot write line and then in here write key and to get the element we can write in here element dot key and comma value element dot value which seems to be easier than using the for loop so let us remove the for loop and then press Ctrl F5 to see the results. So here we see the results sorted by the key values in an ascending way. And if we want to remove the values, we can either use the remove or remove at methods. So let us start with the first one. For that, write in here sl1.remove. And then in here we need to define the key. To define the key, I'll just write in here 1.1 and if we press Ctrl F5, we see that the 1.1 is missing. Or we can use the remove at method. So for that, we write SL remove at. And then in here, instead of the key, we need to define the index. And then here, we see that the sorted list is based on a zero index. So let us write in here zero and then Ctrl F5 to see the result. So we see that the first item and the second item is removed. If you want to check if a certain value or a certain key exists, you can use the contains key or the contain value method. So let us create in here three console.write lines. When we use the contains method, we need to define a key. So for example, we can check if the sorted list contains a key 3.1. So 3 point then we can also do it by using the contains key. So for example, sl1.contains key. And then we write in here 1.1. And the contain value method is used to check if a value exists in a sorted list. So for that, we write in here sl1.contains value. And then we define the value to be number 5. Let us change the value in here to be contains value and control F5 to see the result. So here we see all the respective results for all three methods.